yesterday we did sweet bread and today and tomorrow we're going to be doing the yeast bread. I've already got a little over half of it loafed up. Um, got four more pans to go to finish loafing and then it's wait for it to rise and bake it. got all the bread loafed up. Um, it's lunchtime, so we're going to go fix something uh, and wait for this to rise. And we're going to go get some veggies outside. Today's lunch is going to be macaroni and cheese, but we're not going to have just plain macaroni and cheese. We're going to add a lot of other stuff to it. So we're going to start out with some spinach that we've got growing in the greenhouse. We're going to have to cook some of this for the meat. Micah, this one's lettuce, not spinach. Okay. Lettuce. No, right? Okay, Micah, this one is lettuce. This one is spinach. See the difference in the shape of their leaves? Yeah. And the way they grow is different? Alright, so you reach back here and break it off. All right. All right, that's enough spinach, guys. Put it here, David. Um, we're gonna pick some other things up to add to it. Over here's some. This is lamb's quarter. So we can pick this and put it in there as well. These things grow everywhere. So it's just free veggies. Don't have to plant them, just have to pick them. We're also gonna go in here and pick some amaranth. It's kinda nice to just pick veggies wherever you didn't have to plant it, it just grew. And it is tasty and nutritious as well. So here's the amaranth. This is what it looks like. See that? See the amaranth? There's some nice big ones. Go cook lunch. I think that's enough. So I'm leaving the homestead for a little bit. I haven't been anywhere since Sunday, and today's Thursday, so I prefer to stay home. I'm glad if I don't have to go anywhere. Every Saturday and Sunday we go to the market in Kansas City and so I have to be gone those two days but the rest of the time I'm satisfied to stay home and work at home and be on the homestead and just you know, be 
away from very much involvement with the public. But on Thursdays I go over to a nearby town to an Amish community where I have a young family that um, supplies eggs for us, for us to take to the market. And that's where I'm going right now. County produce auction near us and it's Amish run. It's where farmers who grow produce come and bring their produce to be auctioned off to the highest bidder. driveway. We have a nice long driveway, go up through the woods. And then tomorrow we start the process of trying to get ready to go to the market. I'm frying the turkey here and while this is Almost done, I'm going to go ahead and chop up the veggies. This is how I do it. This is a mix of all those veggies we picked. I washed them. I'm just going to grab them and drop them out here. What we have here is a mix of spinach, amaranth, um, lamb's quarter, and maybe a couple other little things. Basically just shredding it up, quick and easy. I'm ready to put the veggies in, put them on top, let them steam for a bit, and then I'll mix it all together. Our water is boiling now, so we're going to put the macaroni in. This is really good with onions. Um, we're currently out of onions, and so I'm going to put some chopped dried onions. These are kind of our fallback. These are really good too. Alright, macaroni is done and drained. We're going to add all the other stuff in. Um, got some quick melt cheese here. Just had a little bit left. I'm going to put more. Got a stick of butter. And then I've got quite a bit of shredded cheddar cheese. And then I've got the packets of stuff. And then milk. I can eat them. Stick a butt. I'll get I'll get this started um, dissolving and melting, and then I'll get the meat over here. All those veggies we picked cooked down into this. I think we should have done about twice as many. Right, I'm just gonna add all of this to the mixture and then mix it in. Mix all of this together. Kids are setting the table. Is this going in the trash? Mm -hmm. 
we try to stay away from instant food as much as we can but if we do need to fall back on it we try to make it healthier uh, if your children struggle with eating veggies you have a tough time getting them to eat them like her sometimes uh, this might be a great way for you to accomplish that mix it in with something that they know and like and they'll probably eat it up and once they're exposed to veggies more and more my theory is that their body recognizes that it's good for them and they begin to like it more and more all right this is ready to go time to eat and grandpa is mowing the grass creating lots of background noise our onions they're growing quickly it won't be but a month or so till they're ready plants about 18 inches apart down the road and today we're doing it by hand because our ground is very wet and we don't want to put our heavy machinery because it compacts the ground too much so we just do it by hand which is really not a big thing. You dig a little hole, set the plant in, we can firmly and ready to go. that we have to eat. These are cabbages that won't make a head, they're just cabbage seeds. We've got some regular head cabbage on that. Everything's looking great. Uh, and we've been working on some other products. We've got cookies and pies made up that we're going to bake today. A couple extra added things. So we're going to put these cookies in. These are triple chocolate chocolate chip cookies. And they're supposed to bake in 92 minutes. Right now we'll put the vanilla chocolate chip cookies in to bake. The other ones are done. Got all of that baked. We're mixing up again. Another batch to bake tomorrow. We'll let it sit overnight and rise back at it again. Today we bake mostly the loaves of bread. Um, our plan was for tomorrow to bake some loaves, but mostly the, uh, you know, the long bread, the rolls, etc. Braided. One very full fridge. It's stuffed. I need a bigger refrigerator. So we've got this all done. We're going to leave it for the night. And get up tomorrow and do it again. So it is 8.55 and it's time to go home and get some